ACL repair with internal bracing, 3D animation. Internal bracing should be performed up to 6 weeks after ACL rupture. After this period, the ligament may not be able to heal into the femur properly, which may require ACL reconstruction with the graft. Internal bracing method is used to treat a persistent ACL deficiency following an ACL femoral avulsion. The repair procedure involves the reinsertion of the ligament stamp to the femoral attachment. For this purpose, two suture loops are placed through the intact part of the ligament. The first suture loop is ready. The second loop is placed slightly lower, and then both threads are passed through the left portal. Next, a directional K-wire is inserted into the femur. The femoral canal with the diameter of 4.5 mm is drilled. The first suture is passed through the K-wire eyelet. The K-wire is removed. The loop of the transfer suture remains in the joint cavity and its ends are brought outside the knee. The ends of the repair sutures are passed through the central eyelets of the endobaton. The direction of the same color threads is opposite. A transfer suture is passed through the peripheral eyelet of the endobaton. Then, it's inserted into the knee and passed through the loop of the first transfer thread. The end of the green transfer thread is brought out through the right portal and held. Thanks to this, by pulling the upper brew transfer loop, we insert the endobaton into the knee and then into the femoral canal. After pulling the endobaton out of the canal, it rests flat on the femoral cortex, achieving a stable position. In the next step, the repair sutures must be attached to the tibia. For this purpose, a K-wire is inserted into the tibia, followed by a 4.5 mm drill to create a canal for the sutures. A K-wire with an anchored yellow loop is inserted through the canal. The repair sutures are passed through the yellow loop. The K-wire is removed from the tibial tunnel, pulling the repair sutures with it. As a result, the repair sutures are passed outside the canal. Pulling them downwards brings the ligament stamp closer to the femur. Simultaneous pulling of all sutures leads to the final repositioning of the ligament stamp to the femur. Finally, the sutures are tied on a button resting on the tibia. We can see the full construct stabilizing the repair ACL ligament. The benefits of ACL repair include Preservation of the natural ligament and no need to take a graft. Lower degree of impairment of proprioception. Preservation of the natural tibial attachment area, which has a beneficial effect on knee biomechanics. Less tissue traumatization, there is no need to drill 7 to 9 mm canals, as in ACL reconstruction. Shorter recovery. After 3 to 4 months, patient can return to sports activity. And last but not least, performing ACL repair does not eliminate the possibility of complete reconstruction in the future. If you have any questions regarding ACL repair procedure, do not hesitate to contact us. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with the news from our hospital.